Hey, Webster City Middle School, it's Reese. And Allie. It's finally fall, and you know what that means. Stealing candy. candy. Let's try that again. Halloween. Halloween. Did you know that Halloween has a long history? Yeah, and speaking about history, the fifth graders are learning something in history right now. Let's hear more about that with Olivia. Hello everyone, my name is Olivia. Today we're seeing what the fifth graders are doing in history. The fifth graders have been learning about Indians in Unit 3. First we read all of Unit 3. Then we got assigned a group and a region. Next the groups have to research on their region and its tribes. After that you have to make a presentation using Google Slides. Finally, the teachers set a date for the presentations to be shared with the rest of the class. The fifth grade students have been working really hard. Southwestern Apache tribe from Emma Chris and Haley. The Southwest was the driest environment, which the Apache lived in. The men were Reach in the summer in a warmer outfit made of deer skin. They have costumes that has bells. And I think they deserve a round of applause. The end. I think history is one of the coolest classes. Well, that's all for me. Let's run over to Ben in P.E. Hi, I'm Ben. And did you know that, that not exercising is worse than smoking? That's why in PE we are having the physical fitness test. In the physical fitness tests, some of the, mo some of the things that you do are the mile run pull-ups and the shuttle run. <laughs> Physical fitness tests happen twice a year in the fall and spring and takes about four classes to finish each time. What test do you like the best? I think the mile run is the best. Well, that's all for me. Let's send it back over to the anchors. Physical fitness is pretty scary. You know what else is scary? You're singing. Hey. Hello Beans, this is Karina reporting on 6th grade social studies. The 6th graders are doing a project on the first Iowan Explorers. You have a choice between making a board game or a parody. If you choose a parody, you can either do it on live or on camera. Juliet was warned to turn back because a uh, demon, what do you think? They reached the Wisconsin mountain later they found a Mississippi River. Mark and Julia spent time with the Indians and she sat along the side in order of friendship. If you're doing a board game, you can model it after Monopoly or Candyland. And one day we'll play each other's board games. Well, sixth graders. Um, good luck on your projects. Now let's explore over to peanut butter and jelly. Expelliarmus. Hello there, folks. This is Jelly. Uh, I mean, Caroline, and I'm here with me, Sophia. Hey, Caroline, did you hear the joke about the peanut butter? Nah, you'll just spread it. Today, we're here to actually talk about sixth grade art. The sixth graders are working on perspective and vanishing points, which is where you're not able to see the picture anymore after a certain point. Which means we got to create our own worlds. Well, that was art-tastic. I certainly had fun. How about you, Sophia? Yep. Now let's sandwich our way on over to the anchors.
That's really cool. You know, no Halloween is complete without a spooky science experiment. Hey, aren't the seventh graders doing a science experiment? I think so. Let's learn more from Briar. Hi WCMS, it's Ryer. This past week in 7th grade science, we've been doing slideshows over the geological eras. These eras include Precambrian, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic. For each era, we had to include four major events, six animals, and how the planet has changed over that era. Here are some examples for other students. Oh, you need to go to Google Classroom, push unturn it, go through it, and then turn it back in again. Once you turn it in, you can't make any changes. Okay, so go unturn it in, look it over there, turn it back in. Wow, these slideshows are amazing. I didn't know that our Earth is so old. That's all for me, so let's slide it over to Lainey. Hi, I'm Delaney, and I'll be hitting off the highlights about this middle school volleyball season. The seventh grade team had a record of eight and two, and the eighth grade team also had a record of eight and two. We played against teams such as Algona, Iowa Falls, Humboldt, Hampton Dumont, and Boone. I had such a fun time and I think it was a great experience for everyone that went out. So now let's set it on over to the anchors. Wow, great job, Lynx Volleyball. I bet they scared the competition with their great skills. Speaking about scaring and beating the competition, I heard that the Lynx football did great too. Let's hear more about that with Jaden. What's up, Webster City Middle School? Jaden here on 7th and 8th grade football. There are plenty of participants. In 7th grade, there are 32 players, and for coaches, there's Evan Mossman and Eric Dawson. The 8th graders have 29 players, and Bill Bertrand and Ben Rasmussen. We had a great season with both 7th grade and 8th grade being undefeated all year. That's enough sports for me, so now, let's get spooky.
Huh. That's weird. Nobody's here. Usually we're the last ones to class. Are we early? Oh, right. I can't see anything through this helmet. Maybe they are all in here. They're just invisible like me. Um, I don't think so. Jaden, is that one of your uh, detention papers on your desk over there? No, I keep I keep all those in my locker. That's not mine. Hmm. Oh, it's a note. It says, we've captured Miss Brock and we left clues for you to follow if you want to get her. Oh no, they captured Miss Brock. Who's going to give us all that boring homework now? Jaden, this is awful. What are we going to do? Call the cops? Get the FBI? I think we should just follow the clues. Oh yeah, that's smart. The first clue says, if Miss Brock is who you seek, then go and take a peek in the room that smells so sweaty, the second clue will be ready. What kind of a clue is that? It's middle school. Any room can smell sweaty. But there's got to be an extra, there's got to be one that's extra sweaty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The locker room! Man, they weren't lying about that sweat smell. Yeah, let's just find the note and get out of here. Oh, I see it. It's on top of those lockers. Jane, go get it. Sweet, I just finally reached a high shelf. Uh-huh. Anyways, let's see what it says. It says, Miss Brock is in the room. If you already don't have a hunch, the room is not for students, the one where the teachers munch. Okay. They can do better than that, though. It's obviously the teacher's room up by the lunchroom. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Oh, I just got chills. <laughs> Me too. Feels like someone is watching us right now. Let's go. I don't like it down here anymore. the test. Do what she says or this tiny Eiffel Tower gets it. No, not my Eiffel Tower. I'll, I'll do anything. Let's do this, Jason. I saw these on cops. Let's do this, and I saw this on cops. Open up, cops. Stop right there, scumbags. Oh no, it's the cool police. Fine, since you were smart enough to figure out our rules, you can have her back. Well, thanks guys. I appreciate you saving me today and my Eiffel Tower. So, now with that's all taken care of, how about those reports you owe me? Hey, uh, can you guys, uh, kidnap her again? That was a great mystery. Yeah, it reminds me about how the 8th graders are reading mystery books and reading. Well, that's all for us. Thanks for creeping it real with us on... From, From the, the Middle. middle. we had to include four major events, six animals, and how the planet has changed. <laughs>